వ్యూవర్స్ ఈ వీడియోలు మిస్ కాకుండా ఉండాలి అంటే మీరు సబ్స్క్రైబ్ బటన్ని ప్రెస్ చేయండి పక్కనే ఉన్న బెల్ ఐకాన్ని యాక్టివేట్ చేసుకోండి హాయ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియం డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వీఆర్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ద ఫోర్త్ యూనిట్ నేమ్లీ ప్రొడక్షన్ అనాలిసిస్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ప్రొడక్షన్ అనాలిసిస్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ వీడియోస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐ విల్ రిపీట్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ వాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ద ప్రొడక్షన్ ప్రొడక్షన్ మీన్స్ ఇస్ ద క్రియేషన్ ఆఫ్ యూటిలిటీ జనరలీ వీ కెన్ సే ద ప్రొడక్షన్ ప్రొడక్షన్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఏ the creativity of a good the production of good is not only the the creativity good is not only the production okay so the creation of goods and services is called the production the service also including the production production is not only physical good is it so the creation of the utility of or the production of goods and services is called the production generally the goods and services which we can produce the utility the final goods just like <clears throat> the goods and services which, which we can produce it is a final good is called the production and uh, the goods and services which gives us the satisfaction the production of satisfaction of goods and services is called the production okay the creation of uh, satisfying of uh, final goods or services the creation of uh, final goods and services is called the production so uh, so number of definitions are there so whatever it may be production the creation of uh, goods and services the goods which they can gives us the satisfaction if it be goods and services so here production suppose if we want to produce goods and services what we require you know if you want to produce the goods and services what we require utpatti cheyali anukundam em kavali just meek idea kosam telugu vartunna what we require to produce the goods and services em kavali means to produce the goods and services we need to factors of productions we need to the factors of productions what are called factors of production what are called factors of productions the factors of productions are helpful to the process of the process of the production it is a supporting factors the factors of production means it is a supporting factors so they are all helpful to in the process of the production suppose if you want to produce a final good this is a final good to produce the final good the factors of production are supporting supported to produce the goods and services final goods and services means so uh, they are uh, helpful to or uh, in the uh, process in the production process they are helpful in the process of production is called factors of production for example here <coughs> one land labor three capital and four organization attention factors of production means land labor capital organization these four are called factors of production they are all helpful to process of process of the production okay here yeah. land it is a compulsory already discussed in the previous videos what are the characteristics of land so without land we can't produce any goods and services similarly without land we can't produce without labor we can't imagine of the production goods and services without labor we can't produce it is a uh, what is it we can't produce labor without labor we can't produce uh, capital is also essential 
and organization is also essential. So without any factors of production, so we can't produce any goods and services. So by using these four factors of production, so only we can get some goods and services. It is possible to production. Here already the first form factor is was completed. Then in this video, I am going to analyze the labor characteristics of labor. What's a, what are the characteristics of labor? Which means this is a second and important factors. If the profits may be come to a come to the organizer or losses, it is totally depends upon the labor. Suppose if the organizer they want to get more profits by managing the labor only. Okay, the skilled labor only. So, this is very very important point of uh, labor. What are the characteristics of uh, features of labor here? Yeah, that may analyze labor. It is a second factor of production. Characteristics of labor. Here, labor is uh, inseparable from labor himself. Yes. This is a labor is the power of the labor. The labor is the power of the labor. Okay. So, here. Yeah. Labor is the inseparable from labor himself. It is the internal storage of the labor. The power of means the labor is, labor means the work is, it is the power of the labor. It is the internal storage of the labor. So, it implies that labor is sold, but labor cannot so be sold by himself. Only rendering his services. The labor is sold his labor only, not himself. Only the, the, the labor is rendering his services due to his getting some income in the form of the wages. So, the first point is labor is inseparable from labor himself. Second, labor is highly perishable. Yes, the labor is, the skills are, it is a perishable. We can't store. Say so that is loss of labor cannot be stored, and uh, so it has no reserve. Price. Okay. Second point. Third, labor has a less mobility <coughs> due to the so many factors. The laborers are not interested to move one place to another. It is immovable. Means mobility, less mobility due to the traditional factors. Due to the region, regional factors, due to the uh, circumstances, due to the psychology and the sentiments, they are not interested to go or interested to move one place to another place. So, this is the point. Labor has less mobility, not interested to move one place to another. Then, labor has a very weak bargaining power. Yes, the labor has very weak bargaining power in the initial stage. In the, the, the starting of a joining of labor, they have no poor bargaining power. Okay, so labor has very weak bargaining power. After getting some experience, then you can demand the wages or bargaining the wages. So starting with Takko Vetanani Panchestadu, labor has a very weak bargaining power. So this is also one of the characteristics. Then labor power different from labor to labor. Yes, all labor skills are not equal. The labor is different from different labors. So here labor power is our labor has a very uh, labor power different from labors. Then skilled labor, unskilled labor, semi-skilled labor. The labors are divided into three parts. One is skilled labor, unskilled labor. Semi skilled labor. Semi skilled is something. They know something. Okay. Skilled, unskilled, semi skilled labor. And uh, next one, you know, initially supply curve of labor is uh, upwards sloping and highly level of wages, it's a back bending supply curve. So the supply curve is back bending uh, is there. So this is a different uh, concept. So I'm going to time which I'm going to discuss it now. So, these are the features or characteristics of labor. So, here, yeah, division of labor. What is the division of labor? Why should we need to division of labor? For example, when you observe carefully, 
<coughs> this is the final good namely a this is the final good namely a suppose this is a part first part this is second part and this is third part a single worker cannot do the all parts how for example suppose one the place of one uh, working is only is part only he cannot work the another he cannot suppose oh, namely what we say c person c person c he can do only the the first part he cannot do the second and third part and the what do you say k the k is working only is is part and the suppose l the l is working only is third part he cannot do the another parts so when the organizer implies the only the c can do only the the first part again and again again and again he, he can do only the first part only so this is called division of labor for example i am uh, economic lecture i am lecturing only the economics civics is there commerce is there and other subjects is there is there but i am lecturing only the economics again and again year by year i am lecturing only the economics so only i am doing my the part of the course i am only so when you go to the 10th class i can explain only the economics when you go to the intermediate i can explain only the economics when you degree economics pg economics wherever whenever you go which classes you go i can explain only the economics only means the division of labor i am only the economic lecturer the remaining subject is also i know i can study in the previous years in the degree pg stages i can also i read history i know commerce i know but i can explain only the economics only division of labor again and again year by year prati year nenu oka economics cheptha kabadi in the skill labor only economics okay so it is a division of labor so the c can do only it is a part of one the l can do only the part of third only l cannot do the c and k and l cannot do the first and second part only can do third only again and again year by year year uh, again and again he can do only the his uh, prescribed part only so then what are the advantages of uh, division of labor that is called division of labor division of labor advantages of division of labor means increases in productivity of labor yes again and again i am doing only the single work the same work so automatically increases in productivity of labor production innovations may be possible there is a possible to innovation why because he is doing again and again the same work automatically he have a idea how to get the productivity in low cost with low cost suppose i am lecturer suppose again and again year by year i am lecturing in economics only so when i explaining again and again year by year i am ready to make a plan how to get a, a easy way to the students how to explain the easy way to the students why because i am only the economic lecturer only the division of labor so in the same way it is possible to innovations inventions invention is new technology new uh, intervention so invention of productions and discoveries are facilitates then saving is time yes it is automatically save the time and uh, mechanization possible to mechanization is possible and uh, diversity of employment yes it is possible to diversity division of employment here how many uh, employees are there one two three employees are there ఓకే లేదు అందరికీ అన్ని పనులు ఒకటే చేశాడు అనుకోండి ఒకటే ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ అవుతుంది సో ఇక్కడ ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఎవరి పని వాళ్ళే చేస్తారు వేలే వాళ్ళ పనిలోకి వెళ్ళరు అది డివిజన్ ఆఫ్ లేబర్ సో దెన్ డిస్అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఆఫ్ లేబర్ సిఎర్ ఎంత పాయింట్ ఇస్ దే ఫోర్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ సారీ ఫోర్త్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్త్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ పాయింట్ ఈస్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ ఇన్ ద డెక్స్టరిటీ డెక్స్టరిటీ మీన్స్ పేషెంట్ patience of the labor patience of labor and the skills and the right man in the right place and the large scale production is possible to the 
division of labor so when we appoint the skill labor division of labor work called skill labor the person who work again and again is called the skill labor experience okay skill labor all as the experience perfect person so it is a possible to scale up the production scale means in, uh, incomes the income levels production increases automatically in the income will be also increases then disadvantages are there what sir what are the disadvantages of our division of labor means leads to the monetary yes it is also leads to the monetary then uh, returns the human development yes this is also one of the defects and loss of skills and uh, possible to the unemployment but because of so when we um, appoint the number of laborers it is a possible to employment but here possible to uh, unemployment it is a possible to unemployment then hinders to the mobility of the laborers hindering means so uh, what is it the, it, is a, it is not mobilization mobility hinders to the mobility of labor the uh, labor has a skilled skilled labor the labor has a skilled absent person but is not interested to mobilized mobilization from one place to another place so students so this is the way of the presentation of oh, second factor of oh, labor labor characteristics of labor and division of labor uh, advantages of oh, division of labor disadvantages of division of labor okay thank you thank you very much